So H and M and Moschino, Moschino, Man, Moschino, I don't even, I don't even know Moschino. Anymore. Um, how did you think it was pronounced? Moschino. Moschino. So I watched a video on it, and they said Moschino, and because it's, it's Italian. Anyway, they're a dope brand. Do you know? <laughs> Tell us, please. Pretty cool brand. Uh, it's very similar to, I'd say, like that of Versace. Um, it's been around for a minute too, but yeah, I'd say, I'd say. Like, if you had to compare it to another brand, what would you compare it to? Um, honestly, I wouldn't compare it to any other brand because Moschino has been known for decades to be like that extravagant, you know, almost like a a parody. Um, not parody, but like you know, they they are self aware of their high fashion roots, but they make things like cow print. Back in the time when leopard print was hot, you know what I mean? Back in like the 80s and 90s, they were known for that. And then eventually it started kind of dying down. And then Jer uh, Jeremy Scott came in and kind of re-upped the brand to what it is now. So I wouldn't compare it to Versace personally. Versace's like a clean cut, pure brand because of all what Gianni did. But we don't have to go to historical. Donatello's doing a great job at Versace now. But, but like more so where Versace's at today, especially like, even like um, Gucci. Like status like, wise? What, what, no, just like the types of items they're putting out. Like I think oh. visually this is like very similar. Um, or maybe even this, like just this collaboration because it's very flashy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it's so much like that, like Gucci's like, you know, where it's like huge Gucci. Oh, hey, shout out. I voted. Vote. Anyway, cool brand. Cool brand. Um, they're well known for doing like cartoons and then uh, also like fast food, like that mm -hmm. lot of McDonald's themed stuff. Yeah. But anyway, that's just like a little background of it. Um. We're talking about the H and M one. Uh, so usually, price wise, these items are very expensive. Oh yeah. Um, you know, like we we're talking, they're similar to Versace and Gucci, and their prices definitely follow that trend. Um, but being an H and M collaboration, you get some lower, like closer to H and M prices. So we're mm -hmm. looking at like tees that are like forty bucks. Um, but there still are items that are pretty expensive. So I wanted to point these out. These are kind of funny. They're like some condom themed earrings, That's right, the which are just, like, it's so goofy, um, there's a lot of really goofy stuff in here, um, they got, like, a BDSM, yeah, I don't know if you saw that, no, no, I did. like, a leather dress, um, I like the utility pocket it has right here, <laughs> but yeah, I thought the condoms were just, that's funny, um, and then, I right, <laughs> can't, can't pass this up, <laughs> what, it's a massive, uh, it's a shoulder bag, but it's fashioned, mm -hmm. like, a padlock, no, it's just like this is so so extra. Yeah, that's um, very most most chino most chino of them. Yeah. Um, they did that like the McDonald's arches. They like fashioned it. It's like its own its own like style. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Wow, that leather jacket is crazy. <laughs> did I need that? Um. Anyway, but yeah, I'm just gonna we're gonna kind of skip over a lot of the women's stuff just because uh because of patriarchy. Yeah. But, no, no, um, <laughs> they actually have a lot of cool stuff. This is probably, like, your favorite piece, the MTV shirt. Do you want to talk about yeah. that? Yeah, I really like it because, obviously, uh, MTV has played, like, a key role in, like, that of what, uh, I'd say, like, pop culture is, you know? Despite them playing a bunch of reality TV shit now. Um, I really like that shirt because, one, cheap, two, simple, casual design, which is kind of contrary to what the most, you know, uh, brand statement kind of usually is. Um, there's a lot of other cool, like, Disney things we'll get to, but that's... Quick one, red, black, easy. Yeah, so this comes in red and black, and then red and white, and then also there's hoodies in gray. Mm -hmm. what's, what's your favorite colorway? Uh, black and red. Black and red? Black and red, you just can't go wrong with that colorway. It's just real in your face. <laughs> it's actually like the, the white and red tee the most, probably. Alright, so this is my favorite piece um, by far, the suspenders. And I'm just like, I don't know, I'm super into suspenders. I think they're an awesome accessory to have. Born in the wrong generation. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you can no. Nah, they're they're easy to pull off. Mm -hmm. I um, just love the I just love the, the lettering. It's so so good. Yeah, that's it. Kind of reminds me. Um, a while back, Vic had like some Chanel ones. Chanel ones, I think, yeah. And they're very similar. We're to referring that. to a Vic Mensa, by the way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just really like this. Um, mm -hmm. the branding. It'd be interesting if they had, or it'd be nice to see like some other views of it. Um, yeah. maybe like the backside. So yeah, and 50 bucks isn't too bad. Um, it is pricey for suspenders. But you get to like rock, rock these a little bit more than that, or like a t-shirt. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. There's a lot of usability. Like, if you really wanted, you could wear them every day, just like a belt. But, um, but yeah, I mean, good suspenders, you're going to end up paying like 20, 30 bucks anyway. So it's yeah. not too overpriced, especially being a designer. Exactly. Um, especially when so. Um, um, so yeah, what one do you want to talk about? We got two Disney ones. Oh, um, man. 
one thing I really want to note real quick, um, if any of you are, like, minorities growing up, you know damn well, like, the t-shirts that, like, a lot of ghetto kids and myself used to wear, where you'd be, like, a thugged out Spongebob, <laughs> and be, like, cool and, and, like, things like that, and this kind of gives me, like, that, that style of that culture back in, like, early 2000s, um, so I'm not calling, I'm not yelling, like, appropriation of my culture, but it's, like, it's a funny, it's a funny, like, a reminder. reminder, if not, like, a, a paint homage of that, of that generation, you know? So that horrible fashion that people used to wear t-shirts down to like, you know, their mid-thighs or, or Bugs Bunny, things like that. Now they're kind of playing that onto this character with Minnie and Mickey Mouse wearing like, you know, trendy clothing and, you know, the sneakers and then Goofy over there with the twisted hat. <laughs> that had been some shit out of war back in like the fifth grade, being a troublemaker. So I think it's really funny, but uh, again, trucker hat, super dope, love that. Um, there's a better Disney one that we'll get to, but I just love the trucker hat. It's super nice. Yeah, so I, I think the design on the trucker hat's cool. I'm just not a fan of the materials. If you look closer, it's like um, like a faux leather that they use. Yeah, um, I don't like that because, again, that is like the yeah, just, I'm, their style. I'm really not a fan of like that type of material on hats. The material on that is mesh, so mm. yeah, a little bit a little bit different. So is that not a scarf? It is a scarf, but it's made out of mesh, so I'm it's missing. like... It's still like the styles that it's called a scarf, right? Like yeah, Jeremy yeah. Scott's definitely gonna mix it up and do some weird shit. It's just kind of like a not a practical uh, scarf, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, and also just like the mesh material on a scarf is like kind of uncomfortable. You know, not uncomfortable, just like undesirable. Like, yeah, I feel like those obviously machine. they're cheaper, twenty nine bucks opposed to like the forty dollar ones, uh, and that's for a reason. It has H and M. People kind of wanna. The reason why these are hot, right, is because people buy these. In, in attempts to like rock that the Balmain or the Versace collabs they had in the past, they, the hotter items are the ones that just said Versace, yeah, just said Balmain. So the ones that say H M Moschino, they'd be like mm. cuts down on it. Exactly. Yeah, and then also like with this and a lot of other collaborations, um, when the prices are cheaper, it's obviously like not the quality that Moschino or Moschino would be putting out um, like on their own website. Like, uh -huh. These are obviously downgraded. Um, they're probably using H&M blanks, but yeah, just like to wrap up the collection, the women have like three times as many <laughs> items as, as the guys, and there's some really cool accessories. Um, but anyway, um, overall, I think it's a really cool collaboration, mm -hmm. and it's cool to see H&M collaborating with somebody like them, especially to bring the prices down to yeah. something that people can actually yeah. afford. And another thing, real quick, the CDs. How could people not know? Like this is totally, totally an influence and a play on the turn of the century and it's technology. You know what I'm saying? CDs, shit was hot. Light colored jeans, that shit was hot. Disney and shit, shit was hot. You know? Um, <laughs> and just the whole fashion, bro. I like, I like it, I think it's really cool. Jeremy Scott did a great job and H&M. Shout out to whoever you are. All right, quick, favorite piece? Favorite piece, fucking S stuff. The hats, uh, MTV stuff. Really? Yeah. Even, even with the materials? I mean, I, th I think that's kind of what makes them who they are. So out of all things, that's not a, uh, that's, that's an asset, you know what I mean? All right. For me, easily the suspenders, by far the suspenders, everything mm -hmm. else is here. Suspenders are like, pff, way cooler. Yeah. Um, are, you but, about, are you really about, are you, like, while we say things that are hot... And what no, I'm like, going for them. You're going for them? You know I like suspenders. Yeah, so you are going to go for them? Yes. Dude, fucking do it. Wow, we're hyped. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> want you to get them because I think it's cool. Um, It'll be interesting to see the, like, product runs, like, how many they actually make, um, uh, like, yeah. the production numbers. And it'll also uh, be interesting to see what the sellout times are and resell because I've never really Insane. followed a collaboration like this. Oh, I have. When they did their Balmain one, I couldn't pick up shit. So this is going to be really tough. Their Balmain one back in like 2013, no, no, 2015, 2015, 2016, before I went for basic, tra basic training. Real quick, that was a huge collaboration. Like Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner were like even hyping it up. And Oliver Rustag of, of Balmain was like talking about it and like even announced that at an awards show. So that was a lot bigger than this. So hopefully this will be easier. Yeah, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'll try to leave a link. I'll try to remember to put a link um, to this lookbook in the description no, so you guys can check it out. If you hype them up, they'll go for it. So like, we should, you know, let's not make this video. We're not even, this is staying here. Yeah, all right. You're right. We, we got to cut this over. All right.